Greetings everyone, my name is Raziel and today I once again have some reveals for you. I will be revealing three troops from the Death Guard. The first card I have is Gangrel Squad, a three energy Astartes that is essentially a poisonous bunker without can't attack. The stat spread is leading me towards thinking that this may be the new troop Kaifa Morak will put in play after his Meldon Squad's roadhead out of standard mode, similar to Ajax Squad replacing Abercal Squad for the Sons of Horus. And I think that would be a pretty significant buff for him. If this card actually ends up being the Melton replacement and has cards and effects that put it in play, I think it's a solid card that will be pretty annoying to deal with, especially when combined with one of the other cards I have for you. In case you missed the other reveals, Poison now gets applied with a counter. A poisoned unit takes damage at the start of its turn equal to said counter, then the counter decrements by 1. The second card is Legionary Nurgle, a 3 energy Astartes with 3 attack and 2 health that applies 2 stacks of poison to an enemy troop on rally. I think this troop is pretty solid, you deal essentially 3 damage of his ability over 2 turns, which is decent. Obviously he will not do any damage during the turn he's played, so you will need to wait a turn before the 2 initial damage start to kick in. Regardless, I think Nurgle will most likely find a place in most decks. The final card I have for you is Koloth Vor, one of the Grave Wardens. Koloth Vor is a 7 energy Astalis with 7 attack and 7 health, as well as poison as 1, making his attack effectively 8 as well as the rally ability to destroy all enemy troops that are affected by poison. Exactly how strong this card will be is essentially determined by the rest of this legion. If the Death Guard get a low cost tactic or troop that for example applies poison 1 to all enemy troops, this guy can potentially wipe the entire enemy board. If they get a poisonous warlord like Old Reckoning Mortarian, any enemy troop that dares to attack your warlord is at risk of simply dying to Call of the War the following turn. If the enemy kills a poisonous troop, like the aforementioned Gangrel squad, in combat, that troop can just die to Call of War as well. Needless to say that Call of War will definitely end up being a staple in most decks, but if he will be broken or not will depend on the amount of support his legion can offer him. So, that's it for my reveals, I hope you liked them. I personally think that the new poison mechanics have the potential to be very strong. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Until next time!